All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be going over how to set up and fully automate a trading strategy. I'm going to be using BitGet as the exchange and Alertron as the tool I use to trigger um, the go between between TradingView and BitGet. Um, there's multiple tools that you can use and, and obviously exchanges you can use. And so this is just a general um, way to set it up using these tools. It will be a little bit different if your exchange is different. Um, but the first thing that we need to look at right here is the trading strategy. Make sure we're running a viable trade trading strategy. I built a trading strategy on my um, tool called the Bumper Bands. This is a 10-minute trading strategy. If you want access to the Bumper Bands um, and the uh, settings that I've used to build my personal strategy, there's a link in the description below to subscribe to that. You can see over the full history of Bitcoin, the strategy has done incredibly well. Even in the recent history, has done great. <clears throat> and even as Bitcoin has hit a high um, a few months ago here and turned it downwards, the strategy has actually turned it up and to the right, even after Bitcoin had hit its high. So that's kind of what I look for in my trading strategies is something that can generally make uh, good returns even when Bitcoin is turning down or at least hold steady. Obviously, there are going to be some, you know, some losses here and there. That is uh, just always a part of the strategy. You can never avoid that. But um, it's been been a great strategy so far. All right, so let's jump in here. Um, if you have the, the tools that you need, um, you should be ready to go. And there'll be other videos on the exact tools, how to set up the strategy. But I'm assuming that we have a strategy set up today. And let's make sure that we get, um, we got some money in our exchange. So I'm going to just go ahead and import some money to the exchange right now. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit deposit. And I'm just going to transfer some money in. So select a coin. I'm going to say USDC and choose a network. Um, let's do let's do Solana, possibly. So I'm just going to go ahead and from my phone, um, from wherever I'm importing, like obviously it's going to be specific to you. I'm going to go ahead and scan this QR code. So in the next few minutes, I should get a little bit of uh, money on this account, and then I'll show you kind of how to run it from there. Um, the next thing you're going to need after you have set up account, obviously you'll have to have set up an account um, and import some money. You're going to need an Alertatron account. So this is just alertatron.com, and I'm going to go to create an API um, a key. So this is going to trigger from TradingView to Alertatron, and Alertatron is going to trigger BitGet. Um, so far, it is the best and most reliable way that I've found to trigger strategies. And we're going to go to um, script bot API keys right here. Okay. So then we're going to go to choose an exchange. Uh, that just tells me that I think, uh, yeah, just sent my transaction through. Um, so BitGet right here. I'm going to choose that and name. So this is very important. What you name it um, is going to uh, trigger and you're going to have to remember your name. So I'm just going to say um, BTC 10 because I'm going to be using it to trigger a 10 minute Bitcoin strategy. Okay, it's going to say key here. We're going to come back to that in one minute. Um, let's go over here and we're going to need to create a sub account because I usually uh, don't like to trade off of my main account. So I'm going to say sub accounts. I'm going to go to create. Can just say virtual sub account, sub account name. I'm gonna say just so I remember this BTC ten. I'm gonna it. It doesn't have to be the same name, um, but I sometimes like to to name it similar so that I remember. Okay, so now that I've done that, um, I'm gonna want to hit create API, and I'm gonna do a system generated API key, uh, key. All right, so now that we're in this place, I'm just gonna say. Um, BTC 10. Again, I'm just going to remember, I just want to remember um, what account it's attached to. Your passphrase, um, this is just going to be a, a password that you remember. So this is just a test account. I'm uh, going to just do some random thing. I'm going to just, maybe I can do numbers. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, and then you're going to say read and write. Permission type, um, let's see, 
we're going to do, it doesn't matter about uh, what the name is, orders. We're going to want to have orders on. For futures, that's what I'm going to be trading. I'm going to be trading futures, so that's going to be on. I'm not trading spots, so I won't put that on. Margin, I do want it to be able to um, change the margin. Not inter interested in anything else. So now I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to hit create, and I'm going to need to obviously authenticate. So you're going to have to set up authentication in the settings of BitGet. It's not super hard to figure out, so I would recommend um, just going ahead and working through that. So I'm going to go over here to my other screen and authenticate it. This is just going to take a minute here. And come on. Okay. 7941441. So 7941441. And then I'm going to use my authentication app that I've downloaded and set up um, to authenticate this. 7024941. Okay, let's hope that I got these numbers right. Looks like I did. Okay, so now um, I'm going to transfer money. And let me make sure this is in my wallet. Looks like it is. Okay, so I'm going to want to transfer money from my main account account to your sub account. All right, Bitcoin 10 is right. And I'm going to use USTT futures. I'm going to say max confirm. All right, so transfer successful. Now I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to actually go to my sub-account. Um, I'm going to want to go to this one. And now I'm on my sub-account. All right, so here's where I want to set up the API. Um, let me take one second to find that API key here. All right, so I'm going to hit details. Uh, passphrase is going to be that passphrase that I entered earlier. I'm going to have to resend a email. Okay. Confirm. All right. So now we're going to see our API key and our secret key. No, you should never show anyone this information. The only reason I'm showing it is I'm going to transfer money out of this account and delete this account once I've, uh, once I've done this video. So it won't matter. But you're going to need both of these keys right here. So your API key, you're going to copy that. You go here to key. You're gonna paste it. All right. Then you're gonna go back to your BitGet account. You're gonna copy the secret key. You're gonna go here and you're gonna paste that. Um, and your passphrase. You're gonna to need to remember that from um, over here. Well, we entered it a minute ago. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So now we're all set. We have all the same info. You're gonna to want to make sure this. Um, matches and we're going to be able to test it in a minute we're going to say add api key agree to the terms and then now we have our api key um, set up all right the next step after we have created our api key um, in alertatron and made, made sure it's all linked up is jump over to tra uh, actually alertatron and trading view so we're going to hook up alertatron to trading view so that when trading view triggers it will trigger alertatron we're going to hit um, account down here at the bottom and webhook details. Now, I'm not going to show that to anyone because um, that is a private key, so never show that info. But you're going to hit webhook details and you're going to click copy um, on the page that it takes you to. It's going to copy your webhook details and you're going to go over to um, trading view and you're going to want to make sure in notifications that you paste it into this window here. All right, so it's going to have a full key with lots of other letters and numbers, and you're going to want to make sure that that's on. Now, I also have put an email on so that it sends me an email and notifies me in the app whenever a trade triggers. You can also choose to do a text or all this stuff. The thing that's very important is this webhook is on because that is what actually tells um, Alertron to take a trade. So once that's done... Um, we're going to look at one other thing before we continue there. We're going to go to our strategy, and down here in the API entry and exit fields, you're going to want to make sure you're trading exactly what you want to be trading. Okay, So the first important step is this will be specific to you. Whatever uh, is in the entry and exit fields, those are very, very important, and that has to match exactly the um, name that you used when you created your alertatron name okay so what if you we called it btctn 
So that has to match B, T, C, T, E, N. All right, so now that matches there. All right, so if you mess up and only have the entry, but you don't have the exit, it will enter trade and it won't exit the trade. So you've got to make sure that these are both trading the exact same thing. Let's look at leverage. So if you want to trade with leverage at, you know, two or one, just put leverage in, whatever that is, you want that to be. And then amount, that is going to be triggered in amount of Bitcoin. So if you're trading BTC USDT, if it has a T at the end of it, then you're going to put it in terms of Bitcoin. So I'm going to start, you know, pretty low. Maybe uh, you have a, a lot of money in your account and you want to trade a whole Bitcoin or whatever it is. Um, but you have to have, first of all, enough capital in your account to trade that amount. Otherwise, the trade won't trigger. Uh, and then you have to have your leverage and amount set to the correct thing. So for testing, I'm just going to say 0 0.01 because we just want to test it. And we're going to say um, maybe I wanted to trade um, Bitcoin inverse perpetuals. Um, in that sense, um, the T wouldn't be there and I would trade in amounts of dollars. So say I want to trade $500. Because um, if you point, put 0 0.01, it's not going to be trading 0 0.01 Bitcoin. It's going to be trading one cent, which I don't think that trade will even trigger because it's so small. Um, but for now, we're going to we're trading in USDT because that's what I have in the account. I don't have any Bitcoin in the account. We're going to say 0 0.01. Okay, so now this again, I'll post this info in the description below. But you will have to specify of your uh, your own account what you're trading here and here. Um, the other details that you'll want to look at is make sure you're trading at whatever leverage you want to use and whatever amount you want to use. Okay, so now to test it out, I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to go over to Alertatron Trading Terminal, Live Trading Controls. So this is where we're going to actually test the exact um, strategy. And I forget there is a specific um, other uh, info that I need right here. So to test it out, it's, this isn't actually going to trigger a trade. It's going to tell me what was wrong with my info that I just submitted. Okay, here we go. So it says um, there was an error right here. So I need underscore UMCBL. All right, because that is specific to um, the type of account I've made on BitGet. It's confusing. I don't actually quite understand the full reason behind it, but I do know that this is CBL. This is what I need to actually trigger a trade. Um, you want to look in. I think if you have different kinds of accounts, you can, uh, tr you'll need these other tickers. But right now, this is the important thing. Okay. okay so now that I know that uh, this is the exact ticker I want, I'm going to copy this. Uh, this is a little bit of a hack way to do it, but um, I'm going to copy this over here. All right going to copy this over here. Now that I um, remember that that's the ticker I need, I'll just copy these settings um, to any strategy that I'm trading for futures. Okay, so now our strategy looks about right. Um, the last thing we're going to need to do to test it, this is specifically to testing only. You're not going to want to keep any of this for the future. You're going to want to say buy because now this is telling Alertatron that it's a buy signal. Over here, when it says um, strategy order action, that will that will automatically send from this skeleton key um, if it's a short or a long. Is basically that's the only thing that this is sending. Now you can put if you want to put buy, you can put that there, and it will always send a buy. But if your if your trading strategy is on short here, that all of a sudden won't actually trigger a short if down here it says buy. Um, so I just leave it at that because I don't want to actually accidentally forget. All right. So now that that's set, we're going to jump back over here and we're going to actually test this out. Okay. So we've got, we're going to buy 0 0.01 Bitcoin on our account. Let's see when this, uh, goes through. Okay. And I heard the kicks down on Bit, uh, on Bit that it is entered into a trade, okay? So now to close the trade, we're gonna also want to test this. I'm gonna just click copy, and I'm going to paste it into here. All right, so this is going to, this should um, exit our trade. And so now we've tested both 
Um, let's see if it does it. It's probably going to take a second to go through. Alertron usually takes yeah, about 10 seconds or so to go through. All right, so now we've entered and exited trade. We know that our signals are good. So this is correct and this is correct. Now, you know, we want to decide maybe we want to trade 0.1 Bitcoin. Whatever we want the strategy to trade is what the number we put there. The leverage we want it to trade at is there. And then we hit OK. So now we've saved that. This strategy is ready to actually initiate. So the last step is hit add alert. Okay. And notifications. Again, you're going to want to have pasted your webhook in here. After you paste it in there one time, it should, unless you change it, it should go forward as that webhook. Um, and so you generally will never have to touch that again unless you change your, your webhook. All right. Message. I use the specific message right here. And I'll, again, this just tells me uh, what it sends. It sends the message, so that's important. And then it sends an email telling me what price it or, it uh, ordered at. So that I like to use those settings. Going to want to say order fills only. And then alert name, BTC10. Now, you can name this alert whatever you want. The alert name is just so you know what alert um, and what you're trading. So, yeah, say say you're trading um, uh, a different a different account, a different. Um, so this will just tell you. Uh, so the only. All right. The last thing we're gonna do here is name the alert name. Now this just tells you um, what you're trading. So you can name it anything, but I like to keep it simple. And name it the same thing. All right, so now that's all set, we're gonna hit create, and we should see an alert pop up here, right there. All right, so this is a strategy that is now viable and active. I think that actually has covered everything. Um, I might uh, do some update videos, and I definitely have plenty of other videos on my channel on how to set up strategies, build strategies, use the buffer band tools to create successful trading strategies. But uh, yeah. If you have any thoughts or questions, I'd definitely love to hear about them in the comments below. Hope you guys have a great day and enjoy.